Alright, so this is going to be a video about the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus. So, yesterday I made a video talking about the iPhone 16 gigabyte version and how that's going to be the base model, even though there were so many rumors of a 32 gigabyte one, and I really hope that, but there is a thing saying um, leaked prices, and here's what they are. I believe these are the same exact ones as the iPhone 6. So it is 16 gigabytes for 649, 64 gigabytes for 749, and 128 gigabytes for 849. Damn, these are expensive. And uh, this is why I like SD cards so much, and a reason I got the G4 over the S6. Um, iPhone 6S Plus, 16 gigabytes is going to be um, 749. 64 gigabytes is 849 and 128 gigabytes is 949. Basically, it's a hundred dollars more for each storage model. Yeah, last year I forgave it a little bit because because it, at first it seemed like instead of a 32 gigabyte one or having the second storage model as 32, it was 64. So it seemed like you're getting more storage for the money, and that's what Apple would tell you. But in reality, the reason they um they didn't get rid of the 16 gigabyte one is they know 16 is too much for people, and 32 has always been the most popular iPhone storage model. So they decided to give the 32 gigabyte users more space and just so for people to pay a hundred more dollars. And for people that are going to get an iPhone 6 and just as a normal phone, they're not they're not looking at it because all the celebrities have iPhones. And iPhones are the popular phone. No, just to get a phone and they're considering the iPhone 6. And they know it's, it's only 16 gigabytes, whereas the S6 is 32, 32, and I believe it's the same price. And these prices, they may be fake, but I doubt it at this point because Apple, well, Apple's trying so hard in iOS 9 to make their swords seem like it's more by, wasn't it? by using app thinning, which I believe it installs certain apps, or when you install an app, it will install, install a smaller version of the app on older iPads or older iPhones. But it's really Apple. I think you shouldn't do this. It's kind of fucking dumb. If you've seen the um, iPhone 6, a lot of people were wondering why is there still a 16 gig one. And people were saying the same last year, how there was not going to be a 32 gig, or how 32 was going to be the base model. But now... I don't know, Apple, uh, when, on September 9th, which, I believe if you ask Siri, hey, give me a hint, or give me a hand, or something like that, I'm not sure what it is, it will tell you something about, go see a rumors post, go see a rumors website, or something, and I bet, the reason they probably said that is because they're trying to make it seem like the rumors are true, so, you, if the rumors were fake, they probably wouldn't do that, so, they probably are true, and I don't know why iPhone rumors are always so true. Like other phones, you'll see the S5, we knew, we had nothing, we knew nothing about that until it was leaked. The specs were either 3 gigs or 2 gigs, we were unsure of that, 16 or 32, and then we got 2 and 16, which, yeah. But on this phone, the iPhone 6S Plus and the 6, 6S, uh, they're going to sell anyway because people want an iPhone. They just do. I personally do not like iOS. But well, maybe someday I'll give it a try if I buy like an iPod Touch or a, an iPhone used or something. And maybe I'll give iOS a try or get an iPad. I don't know. But for now, this is a terrible choice, Apple. It really does not, even when I was at Best Buy considering tablets last year, I looked at the Tab S and the iPad Mini, and I was there, there was also a Nexus there, and some other tablets, and one of the main reasons was expandable storage. I looked at the 16 gigs for both, and even the guy there was saying, yeah, Apple should really get rid of the 16 because they charge 100 more, even though a 16 gigabyte SD card's $15 there, and that guy, I kind of agree with him too. Yeah, I think he was part of the Samsung stand there, but even other people there, and other people not there, but other people I talked to and have seen in the past and on forums, 
say the 16 gigabyte iPhone is useless. There's probably, it's kind of like on my PS4. I may have said this before, but 500 gigabytes on there seemed like a lot until I started installing games. Same with the iPhone. You put a bunch of apps on there, you put your music, and you're out of space within the first six days of owning it, and you return it. That's usually what would happen if I got 16. I actually had to use a 16 gigabyte 4S for three years. It was painful. I started using streaming services and Google Drive a lot, but still. Uh, really, Apple, just give us some storage, man. Uh, just give us some storage options that don't suck and are not from 2004. Or not, I'm, just ex I'm over-exaggerating that, but still, just give us 32 gigs at least. That's all I really have to say about this, and bye.